subscribe, love, like. We're sponsored by the Spunk Lube and rebroadcast by the Demon Seed Radio Network. We could not do any of this without you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, please give us that bump. Okay. Should I? <laughs> I don't know, but this is great because we've just started. So okay, perfect. Great. <laughs> yeah. First time on camera. Four um, stars are people podcast. I'm Dan Frigolat. I'm here with Sophia Jolie. Thank you for doing this. Yeah, for sure. I'm she excited. wanted me to, and I wanted to clarify that you, you're, you, you identify as a nude model. Yes, that's right. Not as yeah. a porn person. Yeah. <laughs> it's a limitation with the podcast that I call the porn stars are people. But I, just to be clear, I'm just looking for people that are sort of like uh, sex and body positive. Right. More yeah. than anything else. I fit that for sure. Yeah. So thank you for doing this. Um, mm -hmm. you're, we're in New York City. <laughs> yeah. How? I just got here like a couple nights ago. So. And what is your what is your history in New York City? Have you been here a lot? Been here mm -hmm. a little? Yeah. I've been here a few times. Um, usually just for a few days. And I don't really get the opportunity to do like touristy things and check stuff out because I'm working a lot. Um, but... These past couple of days, I have had more time, so it's been good. That's cool. Um, but yeah, in a couple of days, I start shooting again, and I'll be shooting like two to three shoots a day, two weeks. So nice. I'll have pretty much no time. That's a, yeah, that's a shit ton. So how do you? Yeah. I don't. I think I don't understand how to assess what a body of work is supposed to be in modeling, in nude modeling. Like what are what are your like short and long term goals for how you know that you're like making it? Like, you know what I mean? Like, how do you? <laughs> well, I mean, I like for myself, I find that like I don't want to limit myself or kind of um, mold my career based off anyone else. Like, I right. really want to do it my own way. Sure. Um, I do everything myself. Like, I've had a lot of people reach out to me and agencies as well. I've been signed with two in the past, but um, I no longer am. I do everything myself. Self booking. Like, Everything myself, all my marketing, yeah. my social media accounts, um, travel, accommodation, everything. Yeah. I plan it all myself. So it's a lot of work. Sure, I'm usually yeah, yeah, working yeah. like at least at least ten hours a day, if not like fifteen a day. Yeah. I've taken two days off in the last two months. No so shit. <laughs> I'm like always busy. So what do you do on that on the day off? Like what's the what's the reset for you? Um, it kind of depends. Like I mean either I want to go out and do something social, but just like as a normal girl, yeah. you know, like no expectations or I just want to be in bed all day. <laughs> what does it wait? What does it mean as a normal girl? What does it mean? Well, because as a model, I'm always having to like I have to do my hair. I have to do my makeup. I have to think oh, so about just, everything. Yeah. So and you don't even realize like um, when I'm on my way to a shoot or something, I have to think about. So how am I sitting on my pants right now? Because it's going to create a crease right. in my skin. Right. Yeah. So when yeah. I get there, you know, like I have so many thoughts going through my mind, you know. He's like, um, what's like, what's good for camera? <laughs> I think this might mean. Yeah. The yeah, food yeah. Is here. No, it's great. No, no, no. Yeah. Please answer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. We uh, we made an arrangement for um, uh, to do the 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 challenge here. Um, I'm getting surprised yeah. with something that is potentially um, like national for like uh, regional friendly Perfect. to where she's from. Nice and something that's like potentially weird to okay, eat. Thank you so much. So, Bye. <laughs> so he's on his way. Cool. Actually, he's oh, on nice. his way. Yeah. I like. So he, I like. He just he's, called. He's you know, very good courteous. Service. Yes. He's, he's like, courteous. I'll call you when I arrive. So very cool. So that's that's an exciting thing. So uh, <laughs> at the end of the episode, check out. We're gonna have some separate thing that's gonna be a food challenge situation on YouTube. So check that out. Um, mm -hmm. so he was supposed to challenge me, but then well, he bailed. So now I. No, I have. I have a thing. It's just. <laughs> do it, you? It, yeah, yeah. I have a thing. We can we can do my thing too. Okay. Yeah. But it's just I'm a, down. just be like a race thing more than anything else. I a think, race. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. So you can down. <laughs> so you can download what I have faster. Okay. And it's a kind of a complex. It's kind of it's kind of complicated. Okay. I, I don't like to give it away because I want them. I want them to sure. look at the other content. Yeah, and surprises and, are good. Yeah, and it's <laughs> and I and and then everything now is important to make it like Instagram friendly since Instagram is uh is the monopoly since they, I know. they own everything. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. They're the they're the ones. It really mm -hmm. is like the more you look at even like so I just started trying to get on TikTok and some of these other things and it just it just feels like uh every like Instagram will just take the the matching thing and then make it part of their their app yeah and then, instagram and then is the most relevant which yeah. sucks because it's also the least fair <laughs> right well because they, so. <laughs> they killed they really they killed vine they killed they've killed a bunch of things because facebook of is like nobody really cares about nobody it cares about like facebook they <laughs> old people right they've killed they've killed basically snapchat yeah i never so. had that actually to be honest with you snapchat. it seems like uh, americans i think we all thought that snapchat was part of the thing and that was a big deal for us mm -hmm. but it seems like other countries never got involved yeah i mean 
I do see a lot of like youth in. Like, I've spent a lot of time in Europe, right? Like right. probably half the last ten years, I've been in Europe rather yeah. than in, um, you know, North America. And yeah. uh, they definitely do idolize a lot of like North American culture. So Snapchat is a big part, but mostly for I'd say like ages like seventeen to like twenty three or right. something. Right. You know, which is that's a good age. Yeah, group. that's a good. Yeah. That's, that's a good place to start. Yeah, get they're them, consumers. Get them hooked now on yeah. your on your content slash drug, and then uh, and then as they get older, they'll be part of your life. Mm-hmm. Um, wait, so you grew up where? Um, so mostly Vancouver Island until age sixteen. Okay, and that is and literally. So that's close to Seattle, kind of. Like right, so it's Vancouver Island is is a is a Canadian island. Um, yep. yeah. So from Vancouver, which is on the west coast, yep. because when I say Canada, people usually think like Toronto or Montreal, which is like. East Coast, that's yeah. so far away. That's right. like a world away. You know, you're not going to compare like LA and New York. Like, yeah, which, and know? I think, I think Vancouver might be, is it the biggest city in Canada now? Um, it's one of them for yeah. sure. It might be. I think Toronto is larger, but okay. like um, Vancouver for sure is like up there, you know? Yeah. And um, people associate it with like Whistler, where the Olympics were sure. that one year. I think 2010 maybe it was. Sure, but sure, sure. Yeah. So you're from Vancouver Island, born and raised mm-hmm. in Vancouver Island, and then... Born in Montreal, actually. Born in Montreal. <laughs> yeah. And then... But the reason for that was because my mom came as a refugee... Oh, no um, shit. ...to Montreal, from and that's where she was allowed into, from Romania. From Romania. So that's how I was born there in the first place. For dumb Americans, such as myself, <laughs> what was going on in Romania that your mom was fleeing? Uh, so communism, the fall of communism, basically, they decapitated their leader on live oh, television oh my god I didn't and know this. yeah a lot of intense stuff happened and it's not that long ago you know yeah um they're still kind of like just now rebuilding from that right so, yeah the only thing i yeah. knew about romania was uh the count dracula thing yeah count dracula and mountains who was a real person and skiing actually like people don't realize that I yeah do you have do you have some facts for me <laughs> yeah so i mean the only facts i really have about that specifically is um so he was a king of romania yeah and he actually looked nothing like the, you know, Count Dracula right. that we know so today. So what does that mean? He was blonde hair, blue eyes? What does that mean? Nothing like <laughs> I mean, he had, like, long hair, like, yeah. uh, this, like, crazy mustache and okay. stuff. Um, and, I mean, he was a king. He was known for being really just, like, ruthless and brutal and torturing people and, like, uh, impaling people. Vlad the Impaler is actually Would, oh, his real oh, no shit. name. Would he <laughs> impale them with his, with his sharp canine teeth? <laughs> no, no. Do you know? Do you know what impaling looks like uh, the, it as a form of torture? No, <laughs> like, please. Um, I mean, I, I don't know if I'm like the person to describe <laughs> this, but because I don't be, really know it myself. You are but. the most. Uh, <laughs> you're the most apt to to uncover this in this conversation. So you <laughs> I are guess the expert that's true. Right now. I mean, it's basically like a steak, and you would put that like through a person's body, like yeah. Y- but you know which? What I mean? Which? No, I don't know you. Which way? I don't really truly know either. Like I mean, through, like like the it would go through your entire body, like so basic. So f- so from the bottom. So basically, like through the taint. I suppose, yeah. Or the grundle, I guess as it they would. call it. Yeah, yeah. I, I've never heard that before. But the grundle? I'll use that in the future. What do you call the area between <laughs> between the butt and and the genitals? What do you call that? So area? I knew taint, like I'd heard that before, yeah. but I've definitely okay. not heard the other one. Oh, the grundle. Good to know. Oh yeah. In case someone doesn't know what I'm referring to when I use taint, I will use that as a backup. Yeah, I think they'll know. I think taint is universal, <laughs> but grundle grundle yeah. can work. Yeah. Because uh, well, because then there's another thing called chunder, which is which is any any. That's, isn't that throwing up? No, chunder, no. I've used, like, I've heard people use that as, like, a way to say throwing up. Oh, interesting. Well, so chunder for me growing up was, was we call, what we called anything that got stuck in the grundle. Oh. Yeah. Just grundle. I didn't know things got stuck there. Grundle dirt is chunder. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've gone gross. Good to Um, know. That's okay. Okay. It's good to know. So the Count Dracula was Vlad the Impaler. Yeah. And he would just spike people's bodies. Yeah, and there's all kinds of, like, you know stories about so like there's there's like some paintings with him holding like red wine, well red wine glasses but apparently it's blood you know okay or, so he was yeah he was brutal and there there was a lot of killing and blood involved and so yeah it's just, just grown to this weird like what if he's drinking it yeah well and someone actually wrote a story right so that's mm-hmm. kind of how it all it all came about okay. like to be honest with you I haven't like clarified which country that the person that wrote the actual like dragon yeah. story is from it's like but it's not Bram stroker right that guy yeah so maybe yeah. he's german or austrian or something yeah. or i don't know but he's not romanian so right 
because it's not like historically accurate the story right, right, that right. he wrote <laughs> interesting well none of them ever are right yeah um but that's interesting okay cool yeah so i do i do i feel i feel slightly smart and uh and then and then more informed now because of, <laughs> yeah. of your story yeah uh so that's so that's cool um but you for sure have the Canadian accent because you said about and it was about and it yeah but you know what I think it's like if I was from Toronto it would be more exaggerated yeah I don't think because, other yeah. than that moment I was looking for it I don't think you start talking people go oh Canadian oh somewhere else yeah like, they they sometimes ask me like what's your accent and I'm like I don't know do I have one you know I think it's kind of like it's it comes out in certain if things they, right there if they yeah out, so if they think you have an accent just tell <laughs> yeah. them Canada and then you're and then you're good because yeah. that's the whole thing. We go oot and a boot. Like that's our that's right. our that's our uh, personification of you guys. Or, yeah. Or our, and our I have the funny thing is I have met people from Ontario that actually sound like the way that people make fun of Canadians, like yeah. fully. Yeah. Very exaggerated, you know. But also, like the Dakotas have that stupid accent too, and and partly the people were like from Syracuse is that kind of have that accent too. It's all so Syracuse. That's not far from here, right? Syracuse is four hours from here. Okay. And it's so if uh, I don't know how well do you know New York. Mm, not that well. So I do this hand. I don't. So the, everybody does hand for Michigan, but I do hand oh, for really? New York State. Okay. So we're down here. We're in the city, and then so there's one road that goes up, uh, and so the mountains are all here. There's a road that goes up through, and dead center, like on the way up, is Albany, which is the capital. Okay. Then because it's all mountains north of that, and before you get to Montana and New Hampshire, uh, or not Montana, Vermont and New Hampshire, geez, uh, everything goes west. So then the next city is Utica, Syracuse, Rochester, Buffalo, Buffalo goes into like Niagara Falls. Okay. And then, there's, and then there's a great lake up here. Or I guess I'm backwards. Yeah, sorry, I'm backwards. So I haven't been to any of those. Like yeah. I haven't been to Niagara Falls even or So like it's any this shape it. because it's because it's Lake Ontario. So Syracuse is here. Mm -hmm. Um and I think Toronto is basically here. Oh, okay. Oh, I think it's across from Rochester because for a while there was a there was a <laughs> so boat. many places. I'm like I don't even know where any of those are. So go due south of Toronto through the water. That's Rochester because they were trying to run a boat there for a little bit, a little while, uh, and it was like way faster than driving around the the horn of the thing. And then it never caught on, so the so the boat company died. But oh, but yeah, no. So right. uh, Central mm -hmm. New Yorkers love to go to Canada. So we would go to Kingston to like go to like there's a Buskers Fest there there, and then uh, and then and then around the back we go to Toronto. We go to um, Niagara Falls. Okay. So that's the that's the loop. That's cool. I probably <laughs> won't remember half of that honestly, but <laughs> that's the loop. That's Syracuse. But. So yeah. So we have this weird like exaggerated uh, vowel accent. Oh, okay. Like, my name to Syracuse people is Dan with, like, five A's. It's like, Dan. Like, it changes. <laughs> That's funny. Through. Does it depend on also, like, how they feel about you in that moment? Or Maybe. <laughs> Why? Would you? I don't know. Would you like, add Dan, an A? That or sounds kind of like like some sort of, like, emotion. You oh, know you're in I mean? trouble? Yeah, would you know. Would you add an A if you were angry or if you were happy? It could go either way. It just depends, <laughs> you know? Well, I'm asking you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Dan. <laughs> um... So where does where does Sophia? That's what? your name. Your name is Sophia. Yeah. Where does Sophia come from? Um. Like, is it a longer? I mean, I I actually it's kind of so like I, I am. Is like it a stage name? Yeah. Okay. But it's also based on something that's actually in my personal life. Yeah. So, so can, is it too personal to <laughs> reveal? <laughs> I mean, like I had like a great grandma that was Sophia, oh, that's but great. um. It's kind of different, and then it also comes from my like real name as well. Okay. So it's a combination of different things okay. for sure. Yeah. That's cool. But um, it's not too far off because honestly, um, when I started modeling, I wanted to use my real name, and I did initially. But my real like legal name is really um, like unique. I haven't seen anyone else in the world right. with it. So um, I had a lot of people saying like, no, you should use a fake name like for you know protection. various reasons, right? Yeah. Protection. Um, if you change your mind in the future, whatever, like different things, right? You know? Because of if you change your name because of the the nude aspect of it, or yeah, because of the nude aspect, right? Like I have, I've been to university, I've worked in professional settings, yeah. I've done a lot of different things, and um, with modeling, it was very much like a thing on the side for a long time. Right. So people would say, like, you know, if you end up just having that be something that you don't pursue like fully, you yeah. know, and then. Um, you end up doing something else. You don't want to have your like real name out there. That but, is interesting. But I, I was like, uh, screw it. I don't care. I'm using my real name. Yeah. You know? Later on, I changed it because. Interesting. Yeah. So, because I've heard, I've heard like obviously with with like 
people that are like mainstream and like hardcore porn people, it's mm-hmm. the name thing is a big deal for safety and for and for that and for because especially there was a stigma for a long time about like if you do porn, pretty much you can't do anything. It's like there's a record of it forever. It's crazy. Like it's they'll changing. find it. Yeah, and it's definitely changing yeah. um, because now people are smart. People are be able to to convert their sort of like porn following into a mainstream non-porn following, which totally. is great. Which is what Kiss of Sins is doing. Okay, so we'll talk about this. Yeah. But um, but I, I just thought it was interesting because I've never heard that from from the, the standpoint of modeling or, or even nude modeling. Did, did you feel that there that people felt a, a certain way or like or negatively about what you were doing that they thought if you do this now then you couldn't like, is nude modeling make it so that you can't go to a university you know it's like what's the oh like everything so i've had like family members not talk to me for no like shit. over a year because of me doing stuff like no this shit. i've had all kinds of things um and how know? do you address that how do you handle that what's your um so it was really hard for me at first honestly and like i was actually a, like a super shy conservative person for most of my life right. so even doing this was like a big deal for me personally but and then um, even and then and then because of that they they would never have seen it coming also? Oh, definitely not. Right. No one like people from high school. Like if they would like, I mean, I'm sure they are. Like a lot of them are seeing me now. Yeah. You know, and it's like it was not in my personality or like what they probably would have thought that I would do. Right, you know? right, right. I was like straight A student, super shy, never partied, never had boyfriends. Like right. really, just like until totally different. <laughs> until when? Um, I'd say like maybe. I don't know, early twenties. Okay, and yeah. how? And uh, I know this is this is like a thing with modeling. It's like you always <laughs> you're gonna you, ask me how old you, I am. Yeah, you want to be for it. So like, wh- yeah, how yeah. old are you? I'm in my twenties. I'm in my twenties yeah. still, but it's close. It's close to <laughs> yeah. now. Um, yeah. Interesting, interesting, interesting. What was I gonna? So how long have you been modeling? Um, so I did it kind of like sporadically in my early twenties, like a few shoots a year type of thing. Yeah. Um, nothing major, and then. Um, Actually, uh, two years ago, I started to have more opportunities. I got signed with an agency in Spain because I lived in Spain, actually, nice. for like a year and a half. Um, How many languages do you speak? Uh, so Romanian is my first language, and then I speak English. And, Hold uh, on, you speak English? Hold on. Yeah, no way, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, kind of, I try. Right. No, you're great. <laughs> and then uh, Spanish, I speak like... I was speaking it pretty well when I left two yeah. years ago. Now I'm kind of like getting rusty on it, but I can understand and I can still carry a conversation. Just so. go, just go hang out with the. Uh, this is I don't want this to sound racist, but go hang out with the bus boys in New York City. <laughs> the bus boys. Literally, like that was when I when my Spanish got got soggy and I was still trying. I still needed like random jobs. I was working at restaurants so that I could uh, I could I literally I was like trying to keep my Spanish alive. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. But it's a dumb, it's dumb advice. Um, <laughs> so okay, so let's let's get into the let's get into the kiss of sins thing because I don't know. Uh, we sort of uh, yeah, like I'm super this, in love with her. Yeah, we pitched this <laughs> off gas. It's like this is like your your sort of your sort of crush and like like guidance. Have you met her? Do you know like? I haven't met her before. I would love to. Like that would be an amazing day. So let's do a quick <laughs> overview for anybody, whatever. So that so the, uh, I'll I'll do what I think is some background on her, and then you correct me I'm all so of the places. I'm so curious if you know how she actually got it. I don't know. No, I know why. nothing. So because here's so here's all that. It's an amazing story, and I'm so surprised at how many people don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited that we're yeah. gonna tell. It. So all I know is that when I see a couple, there's there's this guy Johnny Sins who's who's been who's been like. In the shots of things that I've been consuming for years. <laughs> yeah, right. right? So He's I'm, like so, number one. And then my weird, ob- not obsession, but my weird, like starting to. I don't know why. I've always been like I've been cognizant and aware, almost like IMDb with like who are these people. So like I've known yeah. some of the guys in the scenes, even though the guys are like the least important part. And it's because always the been guys. Big. Don't you find they're like. There's seven. There, there's, it seems like yeah, there's seven. Yeah, there's not a lot. And so it's guys, like the yeah. same. So it's like, oh, I know. Even if he, so, it's like now I'm to the point where like even if I don't see his face, I'm like, oh, I know who that is. <laughs> yeah, um, for sure. <laughs> and uh, and so there's like a thing. Uh, oh, I got derailed. There's like a. There's, I think the yeah, yeah, grab here. it, grab it, grab it, grab <laughs> it. Uh, and so I'll do the I'll do the intro on on. Oh no, you have to hear it. Hello? But so what I my understanding on um, on the Johnny Sins kisses in situation is. Oh, are you? Right oh, let's cut and then we'll just come back. Let's do that. That'll be better. Stay with us, uh, Porn Social People Podcast. And I'm back with uh, Sophia Jolie. We just did a, um, a food challenge, <laughs> which just turned into me eating. Um, it was too enjoyable to call it a challenge. Interesting <laughs> Romanian food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then since yeah. I'm since I just I'm Italian, and we just like we. Um, 
accept other cultures by making them eat our food. This is this is like this is right in line <laughs> yeah, with where I'm trying to I be. I turned it on you. <laughs> so where we actually paused, and so check out that thing on YouTube and uh, and, and Instagram. Uh, where we paused was the notion that you kind of you're fangirly over Kiss, uh, Kiss of Sins. Sins. Yeah. So Huge my <laughs> understanding of that relationship is Johnny Sins has been in the porn business for a period of time, and then he mm -hmm. basically got married to this woman kisses sins but i always assume when i see that stuff especially in porn that like that it's that it's bullshit that it's fake because there's a couple no. of these like power couples i know who you're, yeah i yeah. know like i do admire a lot of the power couples but um the reason that so it's actually really funny because like to be honest i wasn't a fan of johnny sins like not right. to, like not to say anything negative right. about him but i didn't particularly it like, just didn't follow speak him. to you yeah like i just wasn't yeah so what actually happened is i found kissa and um the reason i like fell in love with her stuff is because she's um she's blogging she's yeah. making like well vlogs also um and the way that she got into porn actually is um and she's written all this like publicly on her blogs um one day she was on instagram after like a breakup i think she had been with maybe like a few guys at that point like in her entire life right and um she went on Instagram and found Johnny Sin's profile and just messaged him like as a joke, really. Yeah. Not really expecting any sort of response. Like hitting on him. Yeah, but like she didn't. She was a normal girl, right? Like right. she didn't expect a response from like the number one male porn star in the world. Is that his? Is that his bio? Oh, number he, one male porn star in the world. That's not his bio, but he pretty much is. Right. Like he's been in like you know he's been with every porn star. He's won all the awards. Yeah. You know he's had an amazing career and probably one of the longest ones also. Sure. Um, anyway, so she messages him, doesn't expect a response. And I think they, I think they were like, they happened to be in the same city or something. And he actually responded and was like, yeah, let's go for a drink. Why not? You know? Right. And she was, um, she messaged him hitting on him. Yeah. I, I don't know exactly what she said. Like, like I, let's meet up. I don't whatever, know what the exact yeah. words were, but, um, yeah. And then he actually responded and they did meet up and they just like immediately fell in love. Um, oh, shit. she didn't do porn for quite a long time. Like I want to say like like years like after knowing him they're together she's not doing porn he's still he's yeah, still doing his he thing he was cuz like i said like she wasn't really i mean i know she was really big into like the rave scene and did a lot of other things she had an office job like yeah. she was a pretty like regular right. person but definitely not a porn star you know um and then i think what ended up happening is like they were just filming their own um kind of like personal lives right and cuz for cuz for him probably well, that's just it's just part normal of it. to film, yeah. Yeah, it's just part and of it. And then she, you know? and then probably because it's like a couple's things, like what if we made our own? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So okay. they filmed, and then they ended up sharing something, and it was like really successful. And then she decided, well, you know, I could do stuff just with you, you know. Right. And then they did stuff on their own. Right. Um, so I think that's where it came in. Was I was like, wait, who is this person? Why does she have the name? And well, and, yeah. and and then all the content was just them. Yeah. Yeah. So go ahead. Sorry. So she eventually, I mean, like for a long time, she just did only girl girl stuff or stuff with him with other girls. What what is it? Can I let me ask? And this, you might not, you're not not that you're an expert on this, but what <laughs> is it? Why do we think? What is it about the male ego that it's like it, if if our girls are hooking up with girls, somehow we're not supposed to be jealous <laughs> or like it's fine? How is that? How is that the line? Well, because it's threatening. It's threatening to you. You're not threatened by another woman for the right? most part. Although I've I've encountered guys that are threatened by that as well. Sure. Yeah. But. <laughs> Yeah, because it's like, uh, yeah, that's the I think I think that's the threshold that we think is there. It's like it, it's become an unwritten rule that if, oh no, but I hooked up with a girl, it's fine, <laughs> yeah. right? Like, but th that wouldn't work in reverse, right? Like, if I had a girlfriend, I was like, no, I just I just blew this dude, <laughs> like, no big deal. <laughs> yeah. What is it about? It's 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 literally like. A dick is the worst possible thing. Like because that's, it's, it's threatening. <laughs> that's why anything for guys that is like threatening, they can't handle. But yeah. but if you're actually secure in yourself, then you can set a boundary, but it not be based on your insecurity. It can sure. be based on just what you want in your life. You know what well, I mean? Well, so uh, just just to go briefly, then what is your what's your? I mean, have you been in relationships? Would you would you would you be accepting of something that was an open relationship? Like, is this a thing that that like makes sense to you? Yeah, for Personally, sure. Yeah. I think it makes sense. Yeah. Um, I think like the way I see things is like I don't like to. Um, how could I say? I like to see the world and see relationships, see like situations as um, kind of like 
free like you don't you case don't just, by case well you don't just take on you don't just take on like what's around you or what the standards have been set you set your own standards so i'm not doing it because like this is what's normal around here and that's kind of how i got into nude modeling too right, right. like that's how my mind like flipped and i was like you know i'm gonna do this because it's what i want to do and i'm not gonna just like adhere to whatever is like around me i'm gonna sure. do what makes sense for me so same with relationships right like it, you have to find out like what are you comfortable with like what do you actually want in your life what makes you happy what um you know and and like and then find someone that's compatible to do that you know it's not it's not about just being like well this is like the usual right. like package you know like this is what you do so i'll do that you know? i find yeah i find that you can make specific rules with somebody and as mm -hmm. long as everybody's honest enough to be open enough to make those rules and you stay in them because sometimes like i like i've had situations where we had non-traditional rules and it was a dumb rule that got broken like for probably for other people but it was mm -hmm. like but it was our rule and so yeah. because that rule got broken that that ended up being the end of the relationship and that's what trust is based on right like someone actually respecting like you know, yeah, or it's like, you know, if everything in the relationship is a conference and a, and a dual decision, if you should happen to make a decision that without the, the, your partner, when, when that's the, the thing, then, then, that's the, then you're breaking the rules. Yeah. As an example. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So, so now they're doing content with each other. Now mm -hmm. she's in porn. And then, and then she's doing girl, girl, and just him, and him and girl. Yeah. Well, and then, the, like, that was kind of like the thing that, like, I didn't even... Like you say, like the fragile male ego. Yeah. Like I didn't even expect him to be accepting of, of her wanting to like uh, further her career and do yeah. actually more stuff. But he was. He was totally fine. supportive. Yeah, because it, it, at some point you got to... I'd say this a lot about people in porn. It's like I feel like they're more evolved than a lot of people, especially relationship-wise. Yeah, that's why I'm drawn to them. Yeah, because... It, and, and, and I was at Exotica all weekend and there was something so about jealous. it that... Why didn't you go? You literally got here like know, a... Like, I didn't even know that was happening. You got here like a week too late. <laughs> Um, yeah. You got here two, a day too late, actually. Really? Yeah. It ended on yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. The um, well, so go to you have to go to the next one, January yeah. uh, AVN. You have to go to AVN. Oh my god, I need to. All right, yes. we're gonna arrange this. <laughs> but um, but no, there is something about it's like because it's like once you start breaking down the logic of it, like why is it okay for you to do this and then okay for me to do this? Yeah. And it's like I do find that people in in porn have a lot of these relationships where if the girl's in porn and the guy's not, then they make some kind of arrangement where the guy can just like bang people off of Tinder, but she's working and only banging guys off of her workplace. So why is it's like it's that's not fair some either? It's always sort of weird, unfair. Thing. It's not fair yeah. either, right? Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, it is. An, it's an interesting way to. It's an interesting way to go. Yeah, it's rare to find people that actually like. Yep, you can do this, and I can do it too. Like, well, yeah. The problem is there's never there's never an amount of equality that will ever equal like, like bottling it down to like the most generic and like uh, uh, ignorant thing like more people are gonna want to bang hot girls than are gonna want to bang hot guys so ultimately even in an open relationship girls will have way more opportunities on the table. I suppose that's true. Yeah. Generally speaking. Yeah. Um, so there's well, no guys seek out sex more than women do like in general. Yeah, right, right. In well, cause, general, right, because we're, right, we're just hitting on everybody. That's why there's more of like a market for anything with sex when like it's like, you know, if a guy was to be like, I'm going to be a nude model now, like, you're going to have less of an audience. Right. Than well, what you I find mean, no, is no, well, what you find no. is that you market to other dudes then. Yes, like, exactly. That really I was going to say, happens. yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Guys seek out more. Because you know? we, need, we need to. It's <laughs> yeah. nobody, nobody's presenting us sex. We have to go find. We have to go hunt. <laughs> yeah, it's just the nature of where we're at. Although you know, that's maybe that's part of what we need to uh, change societally. Is that like maybe the maybe the strong move? Because it is. I, I do. I still end up in these con these conversations with somebody who uh, identifies as heavily feminist, but then all of their ideas then conflict as soon as they get into a dating situation. And it's like, what? Well, how are you? How do you have the two? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like the empowerment, all the things, don't do this, don't do that. But then it's like, okay, but I'll only talk to a dude if he walks across the room and talks to me. And it's like, why is that? Yeah. That well, does, how does that align with We're just in a really weird place right now, right? Like where it's like, you know, um, people want to like break free out of that, you know? And it's, right. almost, it's almost like a backlash, right? Of people, like women have been like disrespected, not treated well and stuff for such a long time that now they like, I feel like a lot of the feminist movement stuff comes off as aggressive or like threatening when you know but it's just but like it makes it sense that it would be that yes. way well because it's a because it's a reaction right it's reactionary exactly. to with a behavior but what happens is it's the like <laughs> yeah and but what happens is it's like every this is the thing I, I i figured out the other day every like every every action has a reaction but every something. dictionary definition of what the the 
feminist. like right feminist democrat like every dictionary definition is way different like like even like mm-hmm. uh, uh like like yeah like um what's the word i want um like a democracy in general like the dictionary definition is way different yeah. from what's happening yeah. so what what's you know like so whatever thing you identify as once it becomes put into practice it's like it's a, it's swinging way hard in one direction yeah for and that's sure. kind of where we're at um but what's interesting is you say like this because it's like there's been so much aggression towards women and this and that it's like um guys guy, i think guys would handle it differently i think guys uh if we got cat called i think we'd be We'd be into it, I think. I don't mind being catcalled at all. <laughs> really? I like it, yeah. Really? I don't mind it. What happens why would I take offense to that? What happens if you don't get catcalled? <laughs> and I'm like, why are you? No. What's it going actually, on? It depends where, like, I've noticed this because I travel full time, right? So yeah. I'm always in a different city, always in a different country, like, just very different environments, right? you know? So it really depends. Is like, there any place that doesn't find you hot? <laughs> well, there's like, I, I can't say that, but like, I can't, like, <laughs> like I mean, I can't speak for that. Is, is what there I'm any say. country <laughs> where people don't like you? <laughs> but but I'll say like, there are places that people can't call you more or like notice it more yeah. than others, you know? Like? Um, I mean, I think like in Europe and like, <laughs> like Italy, France. Yeah, I knew you were going to go there. Like, I wanted, I wanted you to feel. Not, yeah. <laughs> like, there's something about it Italian dudes that where it's like, it's been, um, so it's like you look, gotta look at the culture. So has it been encouraged? Like, what's the thing? Is nobody getting slapped? Like, why is Italy the place where like they chase you down the street? And it, well, what's interesting is is because Italians are passionate. That's why. I, yeah, that's I could we could go <laughs> but there. everything. I like that. Um, but then it's also it's because it's fun because I've seen it where these Italian dudes will hit on even if it's like if it's a woman with her father, he'll be it'll it'll be borderline disrespectful but then it'll be respectful at the same time because it's like it's, it's almost like, like a compliment it's like oh may yeah. I have your daughter and it's like yeah. he like goes to the father <laughs> yeah because um, yeah. you're right it's so enriched in the culture <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah but it's passionate but it's like is that yeah is that good is that bad it's like which which level of passion then is the is it? Oh, but Italians negative? are passionate about everything. Where right? like when they're angry, they're really angry. Yeah. When they're like in love, they're really in love. Like yeah, that's you know? that's pretty much my family. The setup is like uh, go to Thanksgiving and it's just a lot of yelling and then uh, and like and like roasting each other. <laughs> yeah. Until but somebody takes it too far, and then yeah. that's th- and then that's the end of dinner. That's pretty much how it goes. Oh man! <laughs> so the kiss of sins thing. What is she, where is she for you, like role model wise? What is what are the things that she's addressing that you identify with? Let's say. So I would say that she's like in terms of um, like public figures, people that are like you know, she's one of the most authentic people sure. that I know. Like on social media no yeah. <laughs> maybe one day i'll know her but like right. you know, what if you meet her she's completely the opposite and you're like, i don't yeah i don't think so she's she's so like she really like enjoys every moment she's like appreciating every little thing like yeah. really feels it really like not um you know she's a very positive person you'll never yeah. see her you know being like negative towards people or things on social media nice. she's really just like real and positive and um Almost like, you know how kids get excited about just like every little thing. Like sure. she's like that, like about oh, just yeah? the simplest things. And it's so cool to see. And she's the first person to like post a selfie, like, you know, like with no makeup, her hair like crazy and like right. glasses, wearing some stupid outfit, you know, like just, and I don't know if you know now, she's in free diving. That's what she's doing. So she's got a new social media account. What is free diving? Doing free diving. So, because I'm um, sorry, excuse me. Her and Johnny are actually broken up now. So I like that. This is this is. Bo- I'm like a huge this, fan. Yeah, I told you. Both, yeah, I, I know is, everything. This is both like informative and then and then, and then semi gossipy. Um, I mean, I think I know. Everything. <laughs> I, know I, I could know more if I was more creepy, but like. Right. So um, so they're no longer together. So so then yeah. does that mean her porn career has stopped? Um, I don't think so. I think she's kind of. She's the kind of person she'll take a break and just go like meditate for like two weeks. There's something like, about your career you know where I mean? you can put a lot of content out. Not in, in their career. They can put a lot of content out. They can shoot a lot of things. And then it's like as long as you have some control over, over the, the time period when it's distributed, you right. can make it look kind of like this. Like I'll do 27 episodes in a weekend and yeah. then I just don't have to work on this thing for six months, which Fair. is great. Yeah. Um, so so what, I don't understand what free diving is maybe. So I think it's so I my understanding isn't fully there either because like the only reason I even knew it was a thing was because I saw she started the account right which I follow but it is interesting the like way we get information sometimes yeah it really is so yeah imagine the only reason it's like I the only reason you know like about free diving is because you love her yeah yeah I it's love great. her and it's great she's though so cool like so yeah so she's doing free diving which like you don't have like um. I don't know anything about diving either. I've never done it. But, yeah. like, you don't have a tank. Like, it's all in uh, one breath. So you're going, like, under. So. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, was it, what's so the difference between that and, like, snorkeling then? 
Uh, well, snorkeling, I guess you would have right the, the surface, thing yeah. that goes to the surface and yeah. get air from it. Yeah. But like free diving is like. I like when you. I like <laughs> when you. I like when you uh, uh, nicely call me dumb. That's fine. <laughs> well, I'm calling myself no, 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 dumb because no. I really don't know. Well, I think snorkeling know, is when like... you have a snorkel, you dummy. No, it's funny. It's really funny. <laughs> no, but um, I don't even know. Yeah, I'm so free clueless. diving. Interesting, because yeah. what's the like? It's a. I mean, it's like a three minute max if you're like the greatest breath holder, right? I guess, yeah. I mean, All right, we're gonna have to look into. But to, you've got to see your pictures. Because it's, it's all like cool stuff. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. And then, so then, what is happening? Does, what, has her account? Has she changed her name, or she's keeping this? The, um. The, the, the so she's got the porn star account, like porn star account. But even if you look at that, like you wouldn't necessarily know she's a porn star from yeah. it. And then, um, well, because right, because yeah. Instagram is so is so anti anti everything. At this well, point. that, but even like she'll literally, like I said, she'll just have a picture of her in a hammock, like just hanging out, <laughs> right. or like it's not, it's it's not like, you yeah, know, she's just a real person. So I don't even see her as a porn star. When was the last time you laid in a hammock? <laughs> hammock. Hmm. <laughs> I was. She's, supposed just a, <laughs> she's just a real person. She's just laying in hammocks and yeah, stuff, like you know, you know, like we hammocks, all do. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, everyday thing. <laughs> like we all do. We just be laying around in hammocks, you know, like a regular person. Yeah. <laughs> That's really funny. But it's not staged, is what I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah, I get, like I get, a I get photographer. It. I She's not like done up. I'm She's just poking just, like, fun. You know. Um. What, <laughs> so what is so you're you're like almost permanently nomadic you're saying you're just driving around trying to trying to mm -hmm. do I'm shoots homeless. and things like that you're, you're gonna go straight I'm there straight homeless. Homeless, yeah. so what happens when are you gonna have a home again where would it be what is what is your is this all an exploration of like what this business can become or what's your again like i think we didn't really get the what's the goal how do you know if you're going in the right direction how do you know what's next etc um so how do I know what's next? So yeah. last time I was in New York, like a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. um, I came here with one booking. I thought I was going to be here for like three days. Yeah. Right? Um, I ended up getting booked every single day for almost three weeks. Yeah. Um, it came to the point where like the day of, I wouldn't even know where I'm sleeping that night. Right. I would like. So <laughs> literally, you just you just go on you just go on social media and you're like and you just let people know you're in New York and then bookings come flying in. Yeah. Or if I like, I have a list, right? Where like if I have i don't know five people to work with from new york then yeah. i'm like okay i guess i should hit up new york hit and up I those go people there and, and i actively yeah. stalked you found out you're in new york and that's why you're here so it worked out, it worked out <laughs> yes, good for both this, of us i don't even know how like, yeah, yeah i have no I don't, idea i don't know either <laughs> i should, like and this is not to be creepy or whatever but like i don't know when because now i just sort of like uh i try to mass follow anybody that's like within the the thing like like that's either involved in something you know and so I don't know at which point I became your follower, and I don't know at which point I became probably like in all your shit. Uh, like, there's no, it's weird because there's no like, <laughs> there's no like exact moment. Yeah, well, because obviously, like, since you're in this industry, kind of full time, like social media stuff is kind of like you don't even remember, right? Yeah, like, well, these people are yeah. these. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's almost like it, it's if somebody gets tagged in the thing, and then you go down that you go down that that, that wormhole. So totally. you end up here, and then it's like, and then honestly, there's something of like. Instagram's smart enough to know somewhat who to put in front of you. So sometimes they'll just put somebody in front of you, yeah, and then you just and you just do that. Now you said you're sh are you shadow banned currently? Do you um, think? I like, suspect I am. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Well, I know you have to type in my entire username to, to find it to find me. Right? Interesting. Like, perfectly typed, you know. Yeah, I had a I I, did, I had a I had a similar, and I'm not even and I'm not even in the field of in that in that way at all. Like none of my content that goes on Instagram has any. Uh, like wiggle room on being like, like needed a, right or needed a, needing a rating or anything like that. Yeah. But I ended up in the same thing where I couldn't I couldn't add, I couldn't add like comment yep. or on or unfollow people for like a a chunk when I really needed to do it. It was like yeah. it was like it was like during a, like a busy chunk where like this is the perfect time. Um, so it is interesting. So what is the best way? And it just su it just sucks because we're all like we're all like victim. We have we like we have to have an Instagram. I know, and that's, I almost didn't want to use it at all. I'm, yeah. I'm working on building myself a website right now. Okay. Um, but it's like, I like when I got deleted at like 19 like K followers yeah. in the spring, um, I was like, and I, I didn't get any warnings. Right. I didn't get any no notification as to why. Right. I got nothing, right? And, and then once you're booted, you can't even like contest it really. No, and I tried. I actually, I called, I emailed, and they gave it back to me, and then they took it away again. Oh, weird. So I was like, so like, what? Like, I got it back. Crazy. Did you, you know? post anything new before they even took it away? I don't think so. Interesting. So no. you're like, you're like, okay, cool. It's cool that we that we have it back. And then all this, and then all the old triggers got re-triggered. And then yeah, it took it I, again. Honestly, I'm like, 
I think someone's reporting me, like mass reporting me. Like, do you, have, do you have exes that are mad at you? <laughs> uh, something like that. Is that. Or do you have hater? <laughs> yeah. Do you have hater people in the industry? I think so. Like, mm, not in the industry, but just like people. But the thing is, like the. The more followers you get in, not competition, but like in my personal life, I would say. I <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, I think so. I had, a, yeah, I have, I have a, I have a suspect for when, <laughs> suspect. <laughs> for when all of my stuff started getting flagged yeah. and taken down on YouTube, I have a suspect in, in mind because it was like, I was clean on um, community standards. So then they yeah. tried, they tried to flag me on metadata. What's that? Well, when you tag a video, you can. So I was tagging the video with ev well, based on every person I've ever interviewed in the tags. And so it was getting tagged as me metadata. This person, like this one person is not in the video. So it's like if, if everybody's not in the video, it shouldn't be in the metadata. But it's oh. just such a but it's such a silly like yeah. it's a way you can flag it because if they flag in community standards, YouTube will go, no, you're wrong. And then they go, OK, what else can I do? So they like metadata and then that checked out. Oh. And so when I was in South Africa and I didn't get any of the the notifications, like thirty episodes got pulled Damn. off of the YouTube. And then once and then once you know whatever the appeal process is, after a certain period of time, it's over. Yeah. Um. So they got it. They really have us. Yeah. They have us like by uh, uh by the reins. Mm hmm And what I found interesting this year was I, I was I met a girl who, like, woke up to like five thousand um like like requests on her Facebook page mm -hmm. and so Facebook had just tossed her into the algorithm and she wasn't even trying to be anything she didn't want to trend and they tossed her into the algorithm and then so every day for like a week she got like 5,000 requests that she had to like approve whoa and she calls Facebook and says if you're gonna throw me into this thing you gotta pay me so she's <laughs> just brilliant wow <coughs> but it really like it really it actually it, it, I think it, most people would want that it, right? yeah it, That's mo so it, funny. it more upset me not that she, it, she was getting it like, like, like why did I get it, then? it was it more upset me that like oh like no matter what i do unless they just decide to toss me into it yeah. i there's nothing to do so if they decide to toss you into it you can you can get a hundred thousand followers in a day because they're mm -hmm. basically putting you with the face of the page or whatever that's what you have to realize about a lot of these things like honestly it's not it's not necessarily there's people that have great content. There's like beautiful girls. There's talented like comedians. I'm sure there's all kinds of people that are like great, you know. Yeah. But they just don't have the audience. They don't have the following. Right. Not because they're not good enough, but because there's a lot of other aspects. Right. To it. That's like a prerequisite, you know. <coughs> That's not uh, going to get you necessarily to where you want to be. And it is becoming this confusion of everybody just blames the algorithm now. <laughs> yeah, there's also that. that so then they just happens. so then they just go so they go oh blah 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 oh the algorithm it's like okay we'll explain it well now we changed it it's like so that's become the new excuse and like the thing because because if you ask Instagram they claim there's no such thing as shadow banning yeah but there but we know is, that yeah. we know that it exists yeah. because we've all had friends maybe we haven't but we've all had fr I've had friends whose name all of a sudden went away in the search bars yeah. and then especially even, especially porn people their name goes away in the search bar on Twitter you have to tag somebody exactly yeah and it won't yeah. come up you just have to type it in and hope that you got it right and then it'll show up but exactly it's crazy um, so that's the, that's the world we live in mm -hmm. um, so what okay so what are what's your again what are your like short and long-term goals in this industry so, I mean, for me, this is all pretty new because, like, so like I said, two years ago um, is when I had my first uh, kind of chunk of time when I shot, like, regularly. Yeah. And then I ended up actually um, meeting a guy who didn't want me to be in, like, anything to do with entertainment. I mean, um, it was my choice, obviously, but I stopped everything. Oh, like dating. Yeah. You dating. Yeah. yeah. So, basically, I... Because um, of fragile male ego or what was the... <laughs> It's complicated, you okay, know. We don't I don't to wanna like put it on blast, <laughs> but like but yeah. Do you think so, he watches all your stuff still? I'm I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> but so anyways, like it's only since March that I've been doing this full time, yeah. you know. So I've been working like hard at it yeah, since yeah, then. Yeah. People don't understand, like it's not um you know, a lot of people do this part time. I've like I said, for two months I didn't take one day off. And when I say that I mean like working like 15 hour days like right. some nights i wouldn't even go to sleep at all like i would literally just like finish right. a shoot at midnight start another one at 4 a.m yeah you know? always, there's always there's always more to do and there's always yeah. yeah and i'm like hungry to do it you know what i yeah. mean i'm not like i want to do it and i love it right i'm like you know yeah because it is that is that is the weird thing because everybody that's stuck in the nine to five world thinks that like um like after a certain hour there's just no work but like for comedians for performers for all these things it's like there's a whole other chunk of time mm -hmm. where we're doing stuff like you said you shot at 5 a.m oh yeah it's in that's regular times square because you're so you yeah. have to so you got to beat like the people mm -hmm. to times square but you also have to have the sun kind of come up yeah right? so it's like it's like that weird fight 
we would leave when it's still dark like be getting to the right. location right and, like do everything i did coney island in the morning i did like on the subway i did escalators no kidding. i did um, this is all nude stuff yep all no nude, kidding yeah i did all kinds which of stuff. train did you ride <laughs> which Dude. Train? i yeah. don't remember to be honest but oh. the guy like the photographer was from here so he yeah. knew like it just you know the spots like where to go you know how you can like sell your like like girls in porn can like sell their socks or their underwear it'd just be fun that like somebody would like run or like deliberately take the six train because they because they because you were naked on oh. the six train or whatever well i've sold i had like a. So I had one shoot in which I like ripped off my underwear. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, basically there was like a big print made of it. I signed it and then framed with the underwear that was That's ripped great. off and everything. It got sold for like That's a decent amount. It was so, great. Yeah. Did you get to get that money? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> as long as it wasn't somebody else. Yeah, because yeah. the porn people are always trying to like convince me to like sell my clothing. And I was like, nobody wants my clothing. Trust me, we're not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not in. I'm not. It's like I'm not in your circle of that. You um, never know. <laughs> well, we'll see. Um. All right, so what else? Uh, let's have you plug stuff. I don't know how it works in your business for the way for you to either, whether you want to get followers or you have like OnlyFans type, type uh, or like subscription type of things where you want people to go. How do people get you money and pay for your content basically? Um, to be honest with you, I haven't really been selling content to this point. I'm okay. looking at doing that in the future. Yeah. All right. So then, so I fast forward really, so to like Instagram pretty much. Yeah. Like how do we follow you? you? Can find me because from there you'll find all my other kind of um things so my instagram is uh so sophia jolie so um s-o-f-i-a j-o-l-i-e dot model and yeah cool that's it that's my instagram awesome <laughs> um check out our content from today we're on itunes we're on google play whatever thing you're on we're on the other platform um we got some content on youtube we did a little food thing where I ate everything Romanian <laughs> yep. and con and continued to do that. So check that out on Instagram and on YouTube. Uh, we're rebroadcast by the DMC Radio Network. We're sponsored by Spunk Lube. And we just started a Patreon to see what you guys are, are interested in moving forward with content. Thank you to my guest, Sophia Jolie. Uh, I'm going to challenge you to one more weird food challenge. Uh, so check out that stuff. We'll get some behind the scenes stuff on this. It's going to be great. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you.